Yo, what's up you guys? So today we're talking about Lightroom Mobile again and the reason why is because I had a video blow up a little bit on TikTok and it was about just uh, some of the Lightroom mobile uh, editing that I did. I have that video on my channel if you want to check it out here uh, for the whole long Let's Play version. Uh, but I wanted to go into a specific thing that will help you out when it comes to Lightroom Mobile that a lot of people don't do. They overlook this when it comes to moving from a desktop version to going to the mobile. So let me run the intro and let's talk about it. So today we're talking about moving presets from Lightroom desktop versions to the mobile versions. And at first I want to lead off with this and say that a lot of people don't like presets because they either think that it's kind of like cheating or stealing when you're doing this. It's kind of like taking somebody else's style and applying it to your photos. And then two, some people just don't want to spend the money. And I can respect both of those answers. However, I want to lead off and say also, I can't get my phone in my pocket, uh, that I like presets, I, uh, I use presets, I bought several packs from different, uh, different photographers from different people, all walks of life do all sorts of different things, so I like presets. Um, not always do I use them, but I do like having them. One, for that, uh, that aspect of getting to play around with certain uh, elements of different people's uh, styles, so it's that experimental thing, and then also number two is the biggest one, and it's supporting the people you love. So it doesn't matter who your favorite photographer is, or if you watch a ton on YouTube, you probably have seen them sell presets, and I think it's a really good way to support the people that do what you like to see them do, right? So saying all of that, I want to show you how to move those presets once you've purchased them from your desktop versions to your mobile version. So this is super simple and it only requires really one thing and technically three downloads. So first off, the one thing you have to have is that Adobe Cloud account. And when you sign up for the Adobe suite or whatever, I know there's certain packages you can do, but this is the easiest way to go about it. Um, so there is a fee involved because you do have to have that uh, Adobe client account or the, uh, the cloud account. So there is another way and I can show you that in a different video, but it's a little different because you actually have to import the files directly from uh, the phone. So you're going to download from the phone to uh, Lightroom Mobile, which is completely easy and free and it's another option. But for this option, I want to show you the absolute easiest way. So we're going to jump on the computer and then we're going to jump to the phone. So let's hit that computer really quick and I'll show you what to do there. Okay, so if you're running classic, you need to run classic and CC. If you're just using CC and this is where you operate mostly, this is you can avoid this first step. But the first step, if you use classic, is actually moving it out of classic, your presets that you want, into uh, CC. So you can see under the presets tab, this is where I have all of mine stored. And I love buying presets. I know some people don't like doing this, but I do, like I said. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll copy this one. So if we look in CC, I have all of the ones. I have the Peter McKinnon Fall Pack 17, but I don't have, or 18, I don't have 17 in there. So for this example, what I'm going to do is hover over one, do show and explorer, and then I have all the XMP files. So these are all the files. When you download a, a preset pack from someone, uh, whoever it is, they're going to use XMP files. So you'll just uh, rip that or zip, unzip that file, and then you'll see these. So then what I like to do is just highlight them all, copy, and that'll copy them out of classic. So once we have classic done, this is the second part, and that is to put them into CC. So Presets is right here, obviously, and we just click the three dots, import presets, and then you can see them all right here. So this is where it saves for CC for me. So I'm just gonna do paste. I'm gonna re uh, replace these files. You will not, you'll just say collect, or uh, select this box and import. So now you can actually see, this is interesting too. They actually put them in alphabetical order, but what'll happen is, watch, It'll do the loading presets and it'll import them and it won't scatter them, which is really good. So whatever file you have, it'll download into that same file. So there's that. So now I have all of the, the, the presets that I want inside CC. So the next thing is to make sure that this guy is on. This is actually the most important when you want to move from classic to CC to mobile. So you want this to be updating all the time. So what you can also do is do your view over here or your help window to see that your accounts are linked because basically what you need to do is have your account linked with either Lightroom Android or Lightroom uh, mobile for um, for your 
Apple devices, so for your iPhone or your iPad or whatever, so make sure these are linked. And then basically it's just gonna update and you get so much free storage when you have this account. So you have to have that Adobe account linked between your desktop version and your mobile versions. But there you can see it's all synced and backed up and here right down here at the bottom. Um, once I have that, we're back to the actual phone and this is where we're gonna put them into the mobile version. All right, so now you have my screen here so you can see what I'm doing on my phone. So we're just gonna open up Lightroom Mobile on the iPhone. If you have an Android, this is, might be a little bit different, but it'll give you the genuine gist. Uh, the buttons might be a little bit different. It might look a little bit different. I don't know. I don't use Android, but um, this is super simple. So once you have those features enabled on your desktop, like I was saying, that little cloud is syncing all of those things. So when you've moved from Lightroom Classic, if you run there first, to Lightroom CC and then to that sync button so it'll sync everything to your mobile version. This is super simple. And also, like I said, if you don't run Classic and you only run CC, all you have to do is really click. Uh, you move your, prof or your presets into your CC, hit that little cloud to make sure that's synced up with your cloud account, and then you have them here. So once you have all of that done, you can see that I'm uploading and uh, syncing inside of Link, uh, Lightroom Mobile right now. So this is essentially just uh, uploading those photos that I've just messed with and then also those presets. But let's check out one of these photos. Let me, let me just select this photo right here. Okay, so now we have the typical Lightroom Mobile that we see all the time. And if we go to presets right here, we can actually see that Peter McKinnon 17 is there and we have all of the ones we want to play with and we can do all of our adjustments. That's actually really good right there and I didn't even do anything. But that's really how easy it is. Just moving from one location, if you're running uh, Classic, you want to go from Classic, download them and then put them in CC and then you're going to upload them from CC to mobile by using your cloud account. Super simple, super, super simple. And if you're not, you're going to do CC cloud to mobile and then you'll have them all right here. So that's as easy as it is. Like I said, there's another way to do this where you don't have to have that cloud account and you would just download the files uh, from the internet onto a, probably your file explorer, uh, which is now on the Apple or is now in the Apple ecosystem, it's on iPhones and Androids have had it forever. Uh, but being able to do that, once you have it downloaded on the phone, then you can upload manually uh, from that location to Lightroom Mobile, which is another uh, video I can make for you guys if you want to see that. But this is the absolute simplest way to move those files and help with getting those presets ready for your mobile uh, editing. So anyway, I appreciate everything and I will see you in the next one. Here's my typical and I will peace out for now. I actually got a new light. Do you like it? I think it's pretty cool. All right, peace out.